Hi there, this is a very quick spy photo update for House of the Dragon. These aren't even new spy photos of new scenes they were filming this week. They're new spy photos that someone just posted of scenes that we know they were filming months ago. These are back from September. The difference is the new ones that someone loaded up are much better quality. They're high resolution images for things that we only had a blurry look at before. They're of the scene in Northern England where young Rhaenyra, Millie Alcock, meets young Alicent, Emily Carey, and then one or two shots of young Rhaenyra at the beach with young Lenor. It's mostly the meeting in Derbyshire in Northern England. And these are very high quality images and they're things that were blurry before, so I realized if you're going to categorize this video, this is a costumes video, that it doesn't tell us anything we didn't know before story-wise from the earlier leaks in September. It's just, it's a really high-resolution shot of the costuming details, things you couldn't see before, that you could not see any of the embroidery on Rhaenyra's riding outfit, for example. That's really the big point of this. I debated whether to make this video or all, but I realized other people would so I might as well, and I'm annoyed that I already made a filming update video yesterday, and I would have included these in that, but then again, it kind of makes more sense to split it off into multiple shorter videos for time. Whatever. As to how someone got such high-resolution images, I think these might have been taken by a crew member, because they're in different locations in England, it's someone following them around. And why, if it was a... Daily Mail spy reporter, they would have posted them immediately. Why wait until now? It must be someone who stamped them, who is a crew member who just whipped out an iPhone really close to them. But they're just slightly different angles, much better quality on the images, and they're useful for costume analysis. First up, the biggest one, is we finally got a high-resolution, detailed shot of what young Rhaenyra's riding outfit looks like that it has all of that dragon scale embroidery on it. They did this with Daenerys as well. They used embroidery that looks like dragon scales. And I'm not a professional costumer. People know more about embroidery than I do. Please dissect this. Also notable that she has what's like a man's riding jacket that clasps in the front. This isn't what adult Rhaenyra's costume looks like, where it's got lacing in the front. It's different. Also, we see her interacting with her dragon Cyrax, which is blue screen. And we again, we saw this in the original photos. This is just a slightly different angle, much better resolution. You can see her really petting and interacting. And it's hard to you know act against blue screen animals like that, that she's talking to Cyrax. And also really quick from the Cornwall beach shoot. I'm just going to throw this up really quick. It's not as important. Much closer and better resolution shots of young Rhaenyra's red dress when she meets young Lenor. That here's Millie with Leonate, and they're just goofing off on the beach. I don't think the cameras are on when they're doing this. I'm going to try to zoom in here. This is a really good shot of what her costume looks like. And you can see her shoes. Normally we can't see her shoes. She's pulled them up because she's on the beach, so that's there. But the majority of this is from the Northern England shoot in the Peak District. I already showed you uh, Millie Alcock's riding outfit. Now, just a few brief updates to Emily Carey as a young Allison that we actually got a rear view of her costume. This is an entirely different angle. Again, this is a costume video. It's for the costumers. That we have somewhat better resolution image of her looking at her from the front and the embroidery. But then we have this shot of her from behind. We never had this before. And discuss in the comments, how has she done her hair exactly? That I know It's not this, quite the same as Rhaenyra. It looks rounded like a crown, I don't know. But one thing that is of note, and this is really the only thing worth pointing out in all of these, it's really new, is from a customer's perspective, you can now clearly see that young Allison's dress laces up the middle of the back. Why is that important? Because I did a whole two-hour documentary on... The costuming that we've seen so far that Allison seems to be doing Tudor style, adult Allison anyway. I have less of a feel for young Allison. And as I said in that video, Tudor era costumes, Tudor era gowns tended to lace up the sides under the arms. They didn't lace up the back like that. 
though lacing varied considerably from region to region and time and place, and other people know more about this than I do. It's more of a guideline than a rule. But this isn't something that Anne Boleyn would be wearing. Anne Boleyn's stuff laced up the sides. This laces up the back, which is, okay, that's something distinctive we didn't know before. Also, we get a much clearer look in these shots at the... She does have puffy Tudor-style sleeves below the elbow. I, I talked about that in the other video, that, well, Tudor fashion was to have these ornate, wide sleeves to show off multiple layers of expensive fabric, that I don't just have a silk gown, I have multiple layers of expensive silk, showing that off, and that there will probably be a costume progression for both young Alicent and young Rhaenyra, like how Sansa went through phases, Daenerys went through phases, before getting into their iconic look. Like, young Rhaenyra doesn't wear her hair in braids the way that adult Rhaenyra does, but she's starting to have a prominent braid in the back of her head, and I pointed out, I think she's copying Valarian style, that we'll see that adult Rhaenyra is starting to dress like Rhaenys, because she looks up to her. So, one of the other things the Valarians all have, that you see with, like, Rhaenys at the wedding, is they actually have really tight sleeves, form-fitting sleeves, which is more or less what sleeves did in the late Middle Ages. The big sleeves was a, a Tudor Renaissance thing. That, that didn't happen before that. Also, and I have a whole longer video pointing this out. The Valarian, Rhaenyra, Rhaenys look is kind of Renaissance, but it's from Renaissance Germany and the Low Countries. That there was starting to be this split that, based on politics and, and how fashions spread, that Tudor England dressed in Spain style, just like France did. But Northern Germany, Low Countries, Protestant style, they, they didn't look like that. So part of Northern Europe style, Protestant style for Germany was they still had close-fitting sleeves that was retained from the late Middle Ages. In contrast, we see Allison with these big puffy sleeves. We also saw that in that fraction of a second of new footage we saw for um, adult Olivia Cook with the knife in the coming 2022 HBO thing. That she has big puffy sleeves to contrast her with Rhaenyra, who doesn't. Well, in just in these, because we have a front view and, and a rear view now, you can clearly see that, that she's wearing Tudor-style big sleeves. and it lace, But it laces up the back, which isn't quite Tudor. And I said this in the other thing, that it's a mix and mash of a few things that, like, it's mostly Tudor, but her hat is different. That adult Allison's hat is not a Tudor hat. So they're playing around with it, and we're just grasping at straws here for little bits and pieces of information. But for the costuming crowd, knowing where to put the lacing to open the damn gown is probably important of, okay, this is structurally what it's like. I can't really see the end of her sleeves, though, because she, she's using her hands to pick up her skirt because she's going up a, a step ladder. So that's just, this was filmed back in September. It's just we got really high-resolution images of them. And also, this isn't really young Rhaenyra's look because it's a riding outfit, that it's not something she would wear to the royal court. And for that matter, young Alicent is wearing a gown, but it's not a very formal gown. You know, she's in a wheelhouse, but I wonder what young Rhaenyra's costume is at her wedding. That We, we saw that in the teaser trailer when we zoomed in. We could tell from their outline okay, that's young Rhaenyra sitting with her father at the table in front of the Iron Throne, but you know, it's, it's blurry. We can't really tell what her costume looks like, and it's probably something ornate as befitting the heir to the throne at her wedding feast. We can't get detail out of that yet. So, so many people were making fun of this when it first came out, and we had two points. It's a riding outfit, not a gown, and it is a very blurry shot. Well, now we have a look at, okay, this is what a high-resolution look at it looks like. Well, it's, it's functional. It's like a soldier's outfit. It's not meant to be a gown. It's meant to be a riding outfit, but it still has really ornate dragon scale embroidery on it. So I wasn't going to make this at first to realize I might as well just dash it off really quickly because others will jump on it. But it, it's nice to have high-resolution photos of this. This is a costuming video. It's just detail for the costuming crowd. 